hydrogen was first made um, by Sir James Dewar at the Royal Institution, uh, and um, he was a very um, possessive man, uh, and he refused to let Ramsay have any hydrogen to work with. So Travers uh, then um, w set to work and built his own hydrogen liquefier, which worked well. Anyhow, all this is very past history as far as I was concerned. By the time I knew him, he was a professor at Bristol, a friend of my father's, and he used to take me down to the lab from time to time and show me experiments and what you could do with, with liquid oxygen. Isn't that just the coolest demo in the world? I love this demo. It sticks to a magnet. It, oxygen is magnetic. It's paramagnetic. And I became very interested in low temperature physics. It seems to be obvious that a cooling of superconducting devices with liquid nitrogen at 78 Kelvin is cheaper than, for example, by liquid hydrogen at 20 Kelvin or liquid helium at 4.2 Kelvin. But hydrogen is the only gas which possesses a very substantial calorific value. Hydrogen acts as a fuel, it acts as an energy storage, it acts like an energy transfer system. So hydrogen is very optimum in that sense. The interest in hydrogen because of magnesium diboride is quite high. People are thinking about high energy highways uh, through the United States, but also high energy highways uh, through, through Europe. I think what happened is when we look into human activities in the next millennium, one of the most important problems, uh, maybe the most important problem, is energy problem. Energy involves three areas. One is its generation, second, storage, and the third is transmission. Transmission, turns out, is the most important part of this tripartite. Now, for transmission of energy, so you can do it differently, superconductivity is the most effective way of transmitting electrical energy. And then when you talk about energy, then the most, the cleanest or most environmentally friendly energy is electricity and hydrogen. Can we combine these two together? And that's the basic foundation of this um, uh, HTS liquid hydrogen super energy highway concept. So what you do is to use liquid hydrogen to cool the uh, high temperature superconductors, and then as a pipeline. So you can have this super energy pipeline to ship electrical energy down the user's centers. And also in the way you can tap the hydrogen out for transportation energy uses. So if this is done, you will have a environmentally friendly, energetically efficient, and economically competitive, safe, and secure system. And that's what we need. We also have to worry about safety issue. Actually, when you look into the safety issue of hydrogen, it's not as bad as natural gas. The use of uh, superconducting bearings in hydrogen tanks is safer and the cryogenic is not a problem. And it's not that bad, but we, uh, the general public needs some education. It's the perception issue.